All you can eat buffet at Senkyaku Banrai. Tips for enjoyment. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video is about the all you can eat buffet in Toyosu. We'll share detailed information, including recommended visiting times and nearby facilities. We'll introduce easy to understand explanations for those visiting Japan for the first time, so please watch until the end. Now, let's get started. This time, we'll introduce this restaurant, Seafood Buffet Iroha. It opened in February 2024. It's so popular that there is a line every day for more than an hour. We'll share tips on how to get in without waiting in line and the prices later. At this restaurant, they have a tuna cutting show. You can also take videos and photos. There are days when the tuna cutting show is not held, but we'll explain the dates and times of the event at the end. All right, let's check the buffet. You can enjoy all you can eat, over 50 varieties of dishes, including seafood and meat in buffet style. They cook it right in front of you, so you can enjoy freshly made dishes. We'll briefly introduce some of the especially recommended ones among them. The most popular item is the snow crab. It's great that the crab is also all you can eat. The flavor of the crab spreads in your mouth. Next up is sashimi. The varieties change depending on the day, but when we went, there were eight types available. There are many types available, including sea bream, bonito, yellowtail, and salmon. The tuna marinated with soy sauce has a rich flavor with subtle sweetness of marin. The medium fatty tuna is fatty and melts in your mouth. Next, we'll introduce three fried foods. It's a crab cream croquette, a fried oyster, and a tuna cutlet. The crab cream croquette is filled with plenty of crab and is creamy. The tuna is thick and juicy like meat. The oyster is large and satisfying to eat. Next, we'll introduce four types of grilled dishes including meat and seafood. There are chicken, mackerel, shrimp, and scallop. The chicken is crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. The mackerel is fatty. The scallop is delicious with the addition of the sweetness of butter. The shrimp has a plump texture and is addictive. There is also soup curry with shrimp and vegetables. It has a mild spiciness and you can taste the richness of the seafood along with the sweetness of the vegetables. Next, we'll introduce three dishes. This tuna is simmered in soy sauce, so it has a pleasant aroma. The chicken seasoned with sweet vinegar is tender and juicy. This grilled fish has a refreshing lemon flavor. There is also seafood pizza. It's a luxurious one topped with crab, squid, and scallops. Next up is ramen. It's made with seafood broth, so it has an elegant flavor. Next, we'll have bara chirashi. It's a mix of egg, cucumber, tuna, salmon, and salmon roe combined with vinegared rice. It's enjoyable because you can taste various textures all at once. Next, we'll enjoy another dish using sashimi. After serving warm vinegared rice, place seafood on top. A luxurious seafood bowl is ready. It's delicious and of the same quality as the seafood bowls you would eat at Tsukiji. It's nice to be able to eat the way you like. Finally, we'll introduce a highly recommended dessert. It's a bite-sized dorayaki. The combination of matcha cream and sweet red bean paste is perfect. 
Now, we'll explain detailed information about the location and prices of this restaurant. The nearest station is Shijomae Station. If you're going from Shibuya Station, it will take about 35 minutes. First, take the Hanzo Moon Line to Nagatacho Station, then transfer to the Yurakcho Line and get off at Toyosu Station. From Toyosu Station, take the Yurikamome Line and you'll arrive at Shijomae Station in about 3 minutes. If you're going from Tokyo Station, take the Yamanote Line and get off at Shinbashi Station. From Shinbashi Station, you'll arrive at Shijomae Station in about 27 minutes. The fare is about 200 yen higher compared to other routes, but it only requires one transfer, so it will be the easiest way to go. In front of Shijomae Station, there is the Toyosu Market. If you want to see the auctions, it's better to go between 5.30 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. By the way, it's closed on Wednesdays, Sundays, and public holidays. There is a new commercial facility just a minute's walk from the passage directly connected to the station, and the restaurant we introduced this time is located inside it. It's Toyosu Senkyaku Banrai, which opened in February 2024. It's a three-story building with different types of restaurants on each floor. The second floor offers a variety of small-sized dishes, perfect for a food tour. We'll briefly introduce three shops. First, it's Meigetsugawa, an eel specialty restaurant. You can enjoy eel grilled over charcoal. The price for an eel bowl starts from 2,850 yen which is relatively affordable for this area. At Marutake, you can enjoy freshly cooked tamagoyaki, Japanese rolled omelet, for 300 yen. The skewer tuna is also popular. On the second floor, there is a souvenir shop, and they also sell knives. On the first floor, there are eight restaurants, mainly serving ramen and seafood bowls. There is a Lawson, a convenience store, on the first floor. If you buy food on the second floor, it's recommended to eat it in this area on the first floor. It's not crowded and there are tables available so you can have a relaxed meal. By the way, there are lockers on the second floor. Next to Senkyaku Banrai, there is a hot spring facility called Manyo no Yu. You need to pay an admission fee for the hot springs, but you can take the food bath on the 8th floor for free. By the way, the water here is hot spring water brought from Hakone and Yugawara. It's relaxing to take in the warm food bath while enjoying the view of the sea. Towels for wiping your feet are sold for 200 yen. The third floor is like a food court, and you can enjoy dishes from various shops. The restaurant we introduced this time is located at the back of the third floor. It opens at 9 a.m., and the last admission is at 3 p.m. It's such a popular place with long lines, so if you go during lunchtime, you will have to wait quite a bit to get in. When we went on a weekday, the waiting time was already an hour and a half by noon. By the way, the tuna cutting show starts at 11 a.m. On Wednesdays, Sundays, and public holidays, the tuna cutting show isn't held. So, it's recommended to come around 10 a.m. on weekdays except for Wednesdays. The tuna cutting show will start around the time you finish your meal. For now, the reservation site is only available in Japanese and can't be used in English. Additionally, you need to enter a Japanese mobile number, so it might be challenging for international travelers to make a reservation. So, it's better to go to the restaurant without making a reservation. The online reservation slots account for about 50% of the total tables, but there are also many seats available without a reservation. There are three types of all-you-can-eat plans. The plan with unlimited soft drinks is 6,578 yen for 70 minutes. 
The plan with unlimited soft drinks and alcohol is 7,678 yen for 70 minutes. The plan with unlimited soft drinks and alcohol is 8,228 yen for 100 minutes. By the way, all you can eat dishes are the same for all plans. If you pay an additional fee, you can enjoy rare parts of tuna, but there are already many types of sashimi, so you might not need to add them. You can use credit cards and suika cards for payment. This all-you-can-eat restaurant is highly recommended, so be sure to give it a try. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!